Feels like we get extra weekend goodness this week. Dave yeah. Norris here alongside my friends Riley and Danielle from Downtown OKC Partnerships. It's July 5th, so we're just coming off the 4th of July where you hustled everywhere for social media <laughs> efforts, from yes, what I understand. Yes, there was a lot happening downtown. So from Bricktown to all the way to the river, I was out there taking pictures of fun festivities happening. So Catch our breath and then more weekend activities just a couple hours away. Yes. I know. It's weird. It feels like a Monday, but it's not. not. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> so. it's a Thursday, which is we always a really great day. We can really gear up for yeah. the weekend. Yeah. Yes. One thing I noticed, uh, speaking of social media that you guys threw out there today, was some construction updates yes. of downtown Oklahoma City, which seems like it changes day by day. Mm -hmm. But we're in a stretch now where Broadway, uh, and, and I believe that stretch around Walker in Midtown, are greatly affected. Yes. And I feel like we're in like the home stretch right now. Mm -hmm. So if you can just endure it for a few more months, uh, this December we'll have the great streetcar to be riding and the, reap the rewards of all the construction and patience. Um, but uh, worth noting is Broadway at 4th Street is going to be closed to north and southbound traffic. Um, 4th Street will still be open um, going on Broadway, going eastbound so people can um, go that way, but there's going to be a big detour kind of loop going around um, Broadway because they have to do some final street track work right and there. And there's been signage over the past week or so saying, hey, 4th Street's going to be shut down through early August, I believe, is, yeah. is what it says. Uh, so I, I hit that this morning, jogged over to Robinson. Yeah, it's, it's under construction. Yeah. So I think Walker's a good way to go right now. Walker's if you can make it clear. over to Walker. And, um, yeah. I think Harvey and Hudson are both clear too. But um, they're also detouring people all the way over to Oklahoma because mm -hmm. um, you can just hop off the highway there and kind of go that way um, if you're coming from 235. But there is weekly streetcar updates that you can sign up for on the newsletter. They're on our front website, like on the front page, so at downtownokc.com. You can sign up for their newsletter or sign up for ours, and we'll keep you informed. <laughs> and what's interesting about that is when you go to downtownokc.com, you see the, uh, the events we're about to talk about, which French Film Week, lots of beach activities going on, construction updates. The others just have dates. This one says ongoing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll update that when it has a definite end date, but I'm thinking it'll be um, a few more months for sure. But it goes to a very handy page, as Danielle was mentioning, the MAPS 3 Modern Streetcar Construction Update provided by the city, which does a good job of snapshotting various, there you go, Yes. Uh, areas of the city and the timelines for each of those. And that link right there at the top will let you sign up for the newsletters. Um, but that's the construction that we were talking about uh, right there. So definitely sign up and get that in your inbox so you know ahead of time which route to take when you're headed in for, for work or for events. Super handy. Again, downtownokc.com is the website for all that stuff, including that weekly newsletter of things happening, which uh, leads us into some things happening very soon, including uh, French Film Week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, French Film Week um, is the 12th to the 15th at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. And I believe this is its third year coming back. Uh, this year it's going to be all new French films. Um, their curator, I think it's Michael Anderson, has said that this is the best year yet. So there's some special uh, things that are happening um, with these films. So there, that Cold Water is a new 4K resolution, so it's going to be one of the first times that it's been screened. And then you, we end um, the, the series with The Apparition, which is the first time um, it'll be showed in um, the U.S. So this is before the official U.S. release. So it'll be a sneak peek for for that film. So there's there's lots of great films, and it's really affordable um, to see films at the museum. It's only five dollars if you're a museum member, um, and I highly recommend becoming a member because they have some really great um, exhibitions. Their new one. Um, that's going on now, which is the fashioning art, and then they have like their ongoing exhibition, the Chihuly exhibition, which is great. It's a cool place to go see uh, movies. Did either of you study French in high school or college? For that <laughs> I right? did in college. Did you? <laughs> no, I don't know. I did Latin, so that helped me a lot. But don't hold me to it. <laughs> Can you go translate some films for no. us? No. Yeah. Tell tell us. Us. Or perhaps no. Interpret, no. You know. Tell us one thing in French. Uh, bonjour. There you oh, go. that's actually that's actually probably Creole. Bonjour. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Spent right. some time in Haiti. You know, <laughs> they speak Creole, which is like slang French. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Who knew? 
All right, well, French Film Week over at the Oklahoma City <laughs> Museum of Art is next weekend, Thursday through Sunday, July 12th through the 15th. Um, I mentioned things going on at the uh, the beach. There's the big concert coming up. There is a concert. So we're having my so-called band. It's going to be July 20th at 8 o'clock. The opener is going to be Mallory Eagle, and um, we love her. She's like a local Americana. I heard studio before. Country. Super nice lady. Great yes. voice. Yes. So she'll open for us, and then my so-called band will go on like around 9. Um, the Dodgers are going to have their concessions open and beer sales and um, probably have some snow cones. It's going to be a great time. I'm pumped. How is the beach going so far? It runs through, I think, mid-September maybe? Yeah, it runs through Labor Day, or I guess right before Labor Day. I think it actually is going through the 15th this year. Whoa. So yeah, it's, it's, me. it's, it's days. longer <laughs> no, it's longer than it was last year, so it's kind of, um, as, as long as we can keep it up and the Dodgers have that plaza open for us, we're, we're going to have it there until the 15th. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of skipped ahead by going with the beach stuff. Uh, we could shuffle back to some film action right now <laughs> because there's, you mentioned uh, the Boathouse District where they had fireworks last night. They also have some floating films coming up. Yeah, floating films is a fun thing. It happens on July 14th. They're going to have Star Wars, The Last Jedi. And then on the 28th, I think this is their second screening of this, they're going to have Jaws again, which is kind of perfect because you can rent a tube or a raft for $10 a person, and you can actually float in the water while watching the film. But if you're not one to get, be in the water while you're watching Jaws, you can bring your blanket <laughs> and your chairs and sit up along the, the side of the, the coast of the water. Mike Knopf was telling us uh, their original screening of Jaws last week, I think it was, they sold out. They didn't have enough tubes, so they were purchasing more tubes and bringing it back. Bringing That's it back for the 20th. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I went for the very, very first floating films. Um, and just hearing that, um, <laughs> do -do -do. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just like, oh, I can't even be on the land next to it. It was really creepy. <laughs> so good experience for sure, yeah. though. But you're not actually in the river, right? You're no, in you're the, in the, um, the rapids. The rapids. Right. Yeah, right. in that like landing, like mm -hmm. or not landing area, but that pond area. Right. They turn off the rapids, and <laughs> the whole time you're fighting turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> fighting against. Could you it. imagine? <laughs> The, it could be a cool event, that yeah. One, right? <laughs> oh. Some scuba divers down there. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, over at Harkins Theater, they also have some summer, summer movie action. Yeah, so their summer movies are $2 a movie, or you can do the $5 season pass, which is such a great deal. And they're showing... Um, Apparently some Smurfs. Smurfs, and Ferdinand, the Emoji Movie, Captain Underpants, <laughs> Paddington, um, so a lot of great movies to go bring the kiddos and watch and they have several different movie times throughout the week. And this comes back every year and it's a great way to get kids inside if it's really hot to beat mm -hmm. the heat. Which as it turns out, it's really hot. It it's is. really, really <laughs> hot. And then Harkins also continues their Tuesday night classics and so last week Danny was telling me that they showed Top Gun. So nice. yeah, they have some great movies on Tuesday nights as well. Um, which takes us to Sonic Summer Movies over at the Myriad Gardens. Yeah, some more movies. Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock, um, Sonic partners with the Myriad Gardens and they show movies. And then, let's see, the next one we have coming up is Paddington. Um, and so these are free, open to the public. So bring your chairs and your picnic and your blankets and you can enjoy a movie outside. Hopefully by 9 o'clock it'll have cooled down a little bit. <laughs> I'm excited about Space Jam. I think that'll be fun. Yes. All the classics. That's and great. a sing-along. Oh boy, that could be good or bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm singing along, not so good. Hopefully <laughs> Oklahomans know the Oklahoma yeah. song, but we'll yeah. see. Probably. <laughs> uh, one last event to talk about here is uh, something new happening over in the Deep Deuce area. Yes, so on September 7th, we are having a new event and it's called Deep Deuce Director's Cut. And so we um, are in the process of narrowing down a film to show. Cool. And this is gonna be in Deep Deuce in one of like their open grass lots. It's gonna be an outdoor movie with um, adult beverages. And it's just, it's gonna be a different event than we usually do. We produce a lot of family friendly events. So I think this is gonna reach a different crowd than what we typically do. And so we're super excited about it. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Hopefully you'll be able to like order food from Deep Deuce Grill and just like bring it over to your spot. They yeah. have great food there. They That's good. good food. Really did the, yeah. the, the, the queso. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of the I like queso. their wings. Their mac and cheese is good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Can't go wrong with mac and cheese. This is, this <laughs> I know. is true. But there are yeah. some of those areas in deep dews that, that would be perfect for stuff like mm -hmm. this uh, at this point. Yes. Right. An undeveloped lot, maybe. Yeah. And it's going to be just for the residents. There's so many residents in mm -hmm. deep dew, so it's going to be perfect for them just to walk outside and come and enjoy the community and outside. And we're super excited just because it's a new event. We don't get to do a lot of new events at this point. And so um, we're pumped to see what, what is going to come out. Yeah. 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 All right, good stuff. Again, you can find information about the various events that we mentioned uh, in this segment on their website at downtownokc.com, including signing up for that email newsletter and, if you want, some traffic updates as well. Ladies, always good to see you. Um, happy post-4th of July. I know. And uh, <laughs> have a good weekend moving ahead. Thank you.